the European uh, quality policy is ongoing now. It is the the is this ongoing in in uh, the member states, uh, in the Council, uh, in the European Parliament, amongst the web, uh, amongst the stakeholders. Uh, because the Commission proposed a uh, revision uh, of the policy with a view to, to improve the system and provide even uh, better protection uh, of geographical indications and uh, the, to empower the producers uh, who are producing them uh, to, to be able to better uh, protect, uh, promote and develop uh, geographical indications. So uh, these are, in fact, the objectives of the proposal for a new regulation. And uh, the work that we have started is based uh, on the mission uh, from uh, President for, for the, uh, von der Leyen, the president of the commission, who said that we should look at ways to strengthen the system of geographical indications so that our cultural, gastronomic, and local heritage is preserved and certified as authentic across the world. So the aim of the legislative proposal is to strengthen the GI system, to increase the uptake of geographical indications across the union, to shorten the registration time uh, of the new uh, protected names. However, uh, despite the fact that uh, mountain product uh, label also makes part of the quality schemes uh, legislation, there are no changes proposed in that area because uh, mountain product label is rather new. The, the main rules are from 2012 and uh, the detailed rules from uh, 2014. So uh, member states needed some time to implement, farmers needed time to get used uh, to having uh, the possibility to label their uh, mountain products with the corresponding label. So there are no changes proposed uh, for uh, those provisions. What we want to achieve uh, in the revision of the system of geographical indications is uh, firstly to harmonize certain rules not all the rules because we are all aware and we want to to protect the specificities of certain sectors of wine sector of spirit drink sector of agricultural products but there is scope to harmonize the procedures for registration the protection of geographical indications as well as controls uh, GI system uh, is a unique system and the procedures protection and controls should be the same uh, for all GIs. For the controls, we made a small exemption, namely for the wine controls, there, there are more specificities there. So the controls for wine will remain uh, the same as they are now. So it will not be exactly the same system as for spirit drinks and agriculture products. There are several novelties in the regulation because we would like to improve the system. Uh, the scope, uh, so the type of products for which the names can be registered is extended. It will now cover all the agriculture products according to the WTO definition. Uh, we are uh, trying to incentivize the producers to have a more sustainable production of geographical indications. For this, we uh, will encourage the producer groups to include sustainability requirements in the product specification. They are not forced to do it, so it's not mandatory but it's on a voluntary basis. So if a producer group decides to go further in sustainability, then uh, they should uh, write this in the product specification. What uh, we would also like to do is to increase the protection. And uh, one item very important is when the GI product is an ingredient to a processed product. In that case, if the producers of the processed product, which use the geographical indication of as an ingredient, 
would like to include the name of the geographical indication in the commercial name of the process product, then it should ask the producer group of the geographical indication whether the producers agree that the name of their geographical indication, which is the ingredient to the process product, can be included in the commercial name. We would also like to empower the producers and the producer groups. We believe that this can be done if there will be a certain representativeness of the producer group, so that producer group would, would really be uh, the one that can act on behalf of all the producers. And this uh, empowerment will be done on the request of the producer group. And if the producer group so requests, the member states would recognize it if the certain representativeness is achieved. Uh, for the first time, uh, we are uh, trying to protect the geographical indications also as regards the use of the name, so of the geographical indication in the domain name, uh, so with regard to, to internet. Uh, so what we would like is to prevent that those who have nothing to do with the production of geographical indication would uh, register a domain name with that geographical indication inside. So if this would happen, uh, there is a new provision now that, would, that says that then the registries should or revoke such a domain name or give it to the producer group, so to the real producers. There is, uh, you know that there are EU symbols uh, used on geographical indications. Uh, we don't propose any changes there, uh, uh, but uh, we clarify that it is not obligatory for wine and spirit drinks. It was not obligatory already now, but there was no, no provision that would uh, directly state this. We would also like to uh, continue using uh, European Union Intellectual Property Office in helping us to examine the applications for registration of geographical indications. We have done so for the last four years on the basis of the memorandum that was uh, agreed between uh, the European Commission and the European Union Intellectual Property Office. Uh, we would like uh, now to this to be uh, written down in the regulation in order to ensure long-term cooperation. Uh, nevertheless, we are speaking about technical assistance, so we are speaking about assessment of the applications, while the, the responsibility to decide whether a name will be registered or not, as well as all the decisions with regard to the policy, will remain with the Commission. Uh, what we also uh, propose is a GI certificate. This will allow the producer to prove that he is really a genuine producer of a geographical indication. So if a producer will feel that such a certificate could be of a good use for him, he would go to the national authorities who will have to use, uh, who will have to issue the certificate. Finally, with regard to simplification, uh, if we have single set of procedures, single set, a single uh, um, rules for protection and for the controls except for wine. We can then also have a single committee with the member states. So member states who are discussing, who are deciding uh, on certain issues. So there is no longer need to have separate committee for wine, for spirit drinks, uh, for agricultural products that would discuss geographical indications. It can be done in single committee with the exemption of specificities for wine, uh, spirit drinks that will remain to be discussed uh, in those committees. With regard to traditional specialties guaranteed, uh, you probably know that the quality policy includes besides the geographical indications and besides the scheme for mountain product, also scheme for traditional specialties guaranteed, which 
are based on a traditional recipe or traditional production method. This scheme has unfortunately not been very much used. Uh, we have only 89 registered traditional specialties guaranteed, while we have 3,500 geographical indications registered. So this scheme um, was apparently too complicated for producers. So we will, uh, we are proposing to clarify and uh, simplify the scheme. Where are we now? Uh, we have discussions in the Council as well as in the European Parliament. In the Council, the work is ongoing in the working party level, so with the experts. There were five one-day meetings during the French presidency, and we are now continuing the meetings now under the Czech presidency. Uh, the discussions are also going at a higher level. So the, uh, the council responsible for agricultural uh, product production have, has discussed the geographical indications uh, proposal already three times. And the Czech presidency will present the progress report at the December Agri-Fish Council. The discussion is also discussed at the Special Committee for Agriculture, which is the intermediate level between the working party and the minister formation. And uh, the, the Special Committee on Agriculture, besides the presentation at the beginning, discussed uh, the, notably the technical assistance of uh, European Union Intellectual Property Office at its October meeting. In the European uh, Parliament, it is uh, the Committee for Agriculture that is uh, responsible. There is also URI Committee that is responsible for a few articles that are more intellectual property rights oriented articles. Uh, but the main debate, debate is in Comagri, who is also responsible to present the report. So for the amendments that, will, uh, that the Parliament will vote, um, for the for the for the draft regulation, um, there uh, there are already a lot of discussions at technical level going on. Uh, the me, rapporteur for the regulation is uh, the Mr. De Castro, who presented his working document, and uh, he uh, will uh, then uh, draft the amendments. It will be possible uh, to to add other amendments. And the plenary vote is for November 23. Me, Just Branca. to finish, I yes. would like to add yes. the main issues that are discussed. Is the scope of the regulation, it is the definitions, it is the objectives, so what should be achieved. And of course, all the novelties, uh, which I have uh, already touched upon. And uh, the discussions uh, will be ongoing uh, and are ongoing. This is why we are very happy to be able to present our regulation in several uh, frameworks in order to get out the best of it with all the input, with all the comments that we can uh, get from uh, various uh, stakeholders and other actors involved. Thank you very much.